Well, if you're in western Rhode Island right now, you may notice the sky is getting a little darker. Let me show you why. Here is a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12, and you'll notice we have some showers and even some thunderstorms moving in from Connecticut. Now, notice the uh, flashes of lightning. We can actually count those over here, 119 recently here in the Connecticut area. And notice how we're seeing some pretty heavy downpours from coastal Connecticut all the way up into northwestern Rhode Island. All right, speaking of northwestern Rhode Island, you may notice some showers moving in right now. Also, westerly, if you have not seen the rain yet, you probably will with this little batch here. And even some embedded downpours are possible as these pull on through. I want to take you in even closer. You can see this is the Pasco area. Radar indicating we do have some at least light rain showers falling right now. And the reason I'm zooming in this, to this particular, particular location is because because we have this uh, time lapse camera. This will be a great tool this summer to track showers and thunderstorms. Right now, you can see the sky is getting a little darker, temperature 61. And again, this is a great way to track storms as they move in from the uh, western part of the state. Let's take a look at our city cam. Skies are dark, no rain falling right now in Providence. Temperature is 61 in Smithfield, 61 Providence. Upper 50s here at the coast with that cooler flow coming in out of the southeast. Now we have the stalled front right now, center of low pressure, warm front, cold front. And here's the problem. This whole complex will take its time moving out of southern New England. And because it kind of hangs around the next couple of days, we will keep the chance of showers in the forecast for both today and tomorrow. Does not mean a washout, does not mean rain the entire time, but certainly some showers will be moving through. So anywhere from say 1, 2 p.m. all the way through about 4, 5, even 6 o'clock this afternoon, some showers, downpours, and even a thunderstorm is possible. But keep in mind, there's no guarantee that those storms in Connecticut actually survive the trip into New, New England. They may just end up as some light to moderate rain showers. It's something we'll just have to track throughout the afternoon. You can see by 8 p.m. still the chance of some showers. We taper things off to some drizzle, mist, fog, overnight through tomorrow. And I think tomorrow is much like today where a lot of the time it's not actually raining, but we get the clouds, we get the cooler temperatures, and every once in a while a shower and maybe even a downpour pops on through. Temperatures today not moving very far from where they are right now. 60 in Newport, 62 Charlestown, Westerly 60, and 61 in Hope Valley. Northern Rhode Island temperatures also holding in the low 60s. 61 Woonsocket, 61 Burville, Foster at 61 degrees, and 61 in Situate. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures in the uh, mid 60s, 64 Taunton, 63 New Bedford. This is a spot where it's a little milder right now, but I do expect this region of Bristol County, Massachusetts to eventually cool off like the rest of us. Middletown, you're at 62, Little Compton, a high of 60. So here's that seven day future cast showers and forecast tomorrow. Saturday doesn't look like a bad day, but a brief afternoon shower is possible. A slight chance of a shower on Sunday, but even a smaller one than Saturday. I think Sunday is actually a little bit better than Saturday. Milder temperature around 70 degrees, just about a 20% chance of a shower. And the best day of the holiday weekend would be Memorial Day itself. Temperature of 76 inland and even the coast, because we have those land breezes for a good part of the day, even the coast makes it to around 70, so not a bad beach day for Memorial Day. It gets a little more unsettled as we head into Tuesday with a chance of some showers moving in by the evening, but we also get a surge of mild air along with those showers, so temperatures still in the mid 70s. And then uh, next week, looks like temperatures holding in the low 70s with some sunshine by Wednesday. So a few showers, even some downpours to get through this afternoon, potentially, Susan. And then a slow improvement as we go into the holiday weekend. Of course, you can get more updates on your iPhone and your Android phone. You can find those on WPRI.com. So we do get better, especially by Memorial Day itself. You said the magic words. You said beach day and my eyes yes. lit up. And I knew you would like that. That's why yeah. I specifically mentioned it in the seven day future cast. I can't wait. I haven't been to the beach yet this season. Nor have and I. It needs to happen this weekend, it I does. think. Thanks, Pete. Coming up.